that's without salt, without understanding. So let's go back into it. Lord willing, I hope you brothers can uh can um hear hear this video. See, and, 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 and that's chips with snow deep, chips with snow deep, all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Raka HaKadash, and the Bohana to Zelda and the Apostle for the Stone who do well, a peace, a blessing, and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven, a be on the forefront of this spiritual war to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on earth again. It is a lamb back on his back. Uh, he did a video uh, sometimes last year um, around the, this time. See, uh, he said that uh, chips is not deep, <laughs> that he was basically alluding to us being shallow. Uh, we don't understand his, uh, a correct articulation of scriptures, and he went into the correct articulation according to his understanding and he was going to Ezekiel uh, Ezekiel 9 about the mark thawa, the mark of exemption and he was uh, uh, making that equation be equal to the mark in Revelation 13 and verse 16 which is that equation is not uh, 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 an equal equation the mark in, the, in Ezekiel 9 is the mark in, in Revelation 13 and 16. Those are two different marks. So he came with this video. You know, the bug is a very charismatic individual. See, <laughs> see when I first saw this video, man, I was laughing, man. See, you know, the bug, man. If you are not rooted into this truth, man, the bug will catch you, man. The bug will catch you of God, man. He's, he's very sleek. He know how to present his case, man. So his case was a cheap with no deep. And uh, this is 2020, the year of prophecy, man. It is not over, man. Uh, this is October, man. 2020, the year of prophecy. Something may hap might happen, man. The Lord can do something within two weeks, one week, man. And they can shut the whole entire earth, man. And, and you saw that during the COVID-19 thing, man. Yeah, the Lord is far off, man. So, going to the scripture, then we'll come back, man. Let's see. So this is Second Corinthians 11, and it says, But I fear, lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his spirit. Yeah, this is serpent here is talking about a nation of people, man. It's a widow, but this can apply to niggers who are very subtle, like the, like the back, man. He is the devil, man. See, he is the devil, man. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Yahawashai, man. So he is trying to corrupt you from the simplicity which is in Yahawashai. And, and talking all over about the, the mark, trying to equate the mark in, in Ezekiel and the mark in Revelation. No, man. See? That's why that dude who was asking the question, he, he left, man. That dude could be of the elect, man. He was not, he, he was, his spirit didn't be a witness with the spirit of the back. 
despite the bug being 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 very subtle like like like, like the devil man verse 4 for if he that comes preaches another yahweh shai man tell you the mark of the beast is not an rafaid chip man whom we have not preached whom the apostle have not preached or if he receive another spirit you see another breakdown which have not received or another gospel which he have not accepted he might well be with him see so let's go uh, so this is a chip which is not deep which is a bug let, let, let me go to uh, to my library here and uh, let's watch uh, let's watch this video and then we will come into a conclusion as a chip with no deep or as a chip with which is a deep uh, the chip with the deep man let's go and watch man we'll come to that conclusion this is the this is the jms gabal 144 mark of the beast in sweden will soon be global see uh, uh, after this lesson we will come to a conclusion is the chip with the deep or the chip without the deep coronavirus pandemic is forcing institutions around the world to rethink about one particularly germy service cold hard cash this is going to be hard to hear but according to multiple studies microorganisms found living on the surface of cash and even credit cards range from mouth and vaginal bacteria to flu like viruses But what if you can make your daily purchases without touching a thing? Welcome to Sweden, where thousands of people are inserting tiny microchips under their skin so that they no longer have to carry cash, IDs, gym passes and key cards to get into work. I have two microchip implants, one on the right and one on the left. I got the micro implants because I wanted to be part of the future. I don't need keys, so I'm able to actually open the doors um, with my hands. These tiny chips are about the size of a grain of rice and they're implanted into the back of the hand with a syringe. And so far about 3000 Swedes have gotten them implemented. So in Sweden you can actually use it to put your train tickets inside. You can actually use it with Scandinavia's biggest gym chain. So you don't actually need to show your membership card. I use it personally as a business card. So you can actually put your phone on my hand and then my LinkedIn pops up. So, who's behind this technology? This is Hans Seppien Showblood, and he's the CEO and co-founder of Disruptive Subdermals. They're one of the leading companies when it comes to developing microchip technologies. I first encountered chip implants. I first encountered chip implants. Boom. Is the chip still is not deep? <laughs> A question to the back, man. See. A question to the back, man. See. Are you still in the world? People have been sent to the world. People have been sent to the world. And this is Japan, man. The mark of the BC, Japan company, Goldex, is pushing their new microchips. They are 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 pushing their new microchips. 自然を感じ魔法も起こすそして今私たちはその先へと進化する一歩それはあなたの手を鍵にするテクノロジーさまざまなものにつながりアクセスを可能にするあなたの安心も You see? Buying coffee, buying anything, man. Everything is interconnected, man. You see? See, everything is a bus stop, everything, man. Is the chip without the, the deep or the chip with the deep? Give me the answer, man. Give me the answer. <laughs> see, give me the answer really quick, man. Mm. 
So this is Second Ezra 16 and uh, 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia, man, going to Moab and Ammon, man. Woe be unto thee, Egypt, man, and Syria. See? Why? Because uh, 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 going back to Second Ezra uh, 15, you, you, you see that, man. You will see that. See. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, going back to Second Ezra 15 and 46. Why is the Lord saying, Woe be to thee, Asher, man? It says, And though Asher that at partake of the hope of Babylon at the glory of a person, what is the hope of Babylon, man? What is the hope of Babylon, man? Or the hope of Isa Widom? Let's go to the book of Psalms. See, the book of Psalm. Let, let me go to the book of Psalm 2. See, what is the hope of Babylon? Psalm 2 and 1 say, Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine the insane, going to the new world order. The king of the earth take themselves, and the ruler take counsel together against the Lord Yahweh Shai and against his anointed man, saying, Let us break the band asunder and cast away their cord from us. How will they be able to break our band asunder and cast away our cord from us? Is this through the new old order which will come via the mark of the beast being an Arafide Egypt, man? Uh, Isa will seek to make you a perpetual slave, man. And the Asia will be into this together, man. And the Babylon, man. Babylon going to Isa Widom. He that sit in the heaven shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak upon them in, in his lust, and vex them in his sore displeasure. See? Vex them in his, in his sore displeasure, man. Yeah. See? So where where is the bug, man? Where where are you, man? <laughs> where are you, my man? The bug, the very charismatic man. Uh, I didn't want that. Um, uh, let me see. This is a book of Job 14 and 7. Give up thy Lord now like a man. The back. See? I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. See? Will thou also discern you my judgment, man? And that way the judgment goes back to decision, man. The decision of the Lord to make Israel be able to cheat, cheat the majority of you, you people, of you of you bozos of out of them, man. Eh? Will thou condemn me that thou may be righteous? Have thou an arm like God, you can thou sound with the voice like him? Deck thyself now with majesty and excellency, and allay thyself with glory and beauty. See? Give up your loin like a man in the back <laughs> and answer. Is the chip with no deep, or is the chip with the deep. See? That's the question we are posing to you. This is the end of the year, man. Is a cheap with the deep or the cheap without the deep? This is Revelation 13 and verse 16. We always bring this, man. And he calls all both small, rich, and poor, man. You saw into those two videos, man. The video of Sudan and the video of Japan. Free and born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the, the mark. Can you buy or sell with philosophy? Over here in Africa, you have individuals who are not into Christianity, not into Islam, not into Buddhism, not into Catholicism, but they still buy and sell. They are not into any philosophy. They are not into any Isa of the philosophy, man. They just worship a tree. You have people here in Africa who worship cementary who worship trees, but they still buy and sell. So this was not talking about a philosophy or anything, man. This was talking about an actual mark, man. All the name of the beast, all the number of his name. 
See, and here is a judgment. If you take the mark, here is a judgment, man. We don't care what you believe, man. Revelation 14, 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worships the beast, and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the last of God, which is poured out without mixer into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel and in the presence of the Lamb. So we know another point is you can't repent from the mark of the beast. And that's the question we should pose to the back. Can you repent from taking the mark of the beast? Because he's, he's, he'll be telling you it is not allowed in the law. You know the back is, is very is very subtle, man. It is not allowed in the law to, to, to make an incision in your skin. If you make a normal incision in your skin, can you repent from that? Yes. But if you make an incision of the mark of the beast, can you repent from that? No. So these are two different things, man. So I wanted to do a, a short lambak on the back, man. Uh, we are posing a question on the back. He should give up his loin as a man and tell us, man. Is the chip with the, the deep or is the chip without the deep? So with this, I say shalom. I hope you are, you are notified. On to the next.